So the aeronaut starring my favorite Felicity Jones and Eddie Raymate featured a hot air balloon adventure high up in the sky, reaching a height of over 37,000 feet. Although it was not a true story, it was however inspired by true events. So in this video, we're going to talk about how high can a hot air balloon go, both technically and theoretically. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Conan, and on this channel, we explore the most intricate in physics and psychology in popular films. So if you want to learn science while watching movies, consider subscribing. So first of all, how does a hot air balloon actually work? Well, hot air balloon consists of three parts. The bottom, we have the basket, which contains the passenger. In the middle, we have the burner, which can be lit on fire. And on top, we have the envelope, which is basically the balloon itself. So a hot air balloon uses a simple physics concept that hot air rises. When the burner heats up the air inside the envelope, the balloon will become lighter in weight because hot air is less dense and less heavy. This will cause the balloon to slowly rise up into the sky. And for the balloon to come down, well, it's rather simple. You can either wait till the hot air to cool down or simply let the hot air out through the small opening on top of the envelope. Either way, the balloon will start descending slowly. So how high can a hot air balloon go? Well, hot air balloon typically fly between 1,000 feet to 3,000 feet. Beneath that, the balloon will very likely crash into the building or into the mountains. But above that, the hot air balloon becomes very difficult to handle because winds and air currents in a high altitude is very unpredictable, let alone the weather, be it rainy or stormy or thunderstorm that can happen high up in the sky. So this is one concern. Another concern that we have is the physiological limitations on the human body. You know, high up in the sky, the temperature becomes lower and lower, and the air becomes thinner and thinner. And we've already seen Eddie Raymond in the movie where he almost frees to death and running out of breath. But as you know, limits are meant to be broken. While the British aeronauts reached over a height of 37,000 feet in 2005, an Indian aviator actually broke the world record by reaching a height of 68,986 feet, which is almost, no, 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 over twice the height of the commercial airline that we fly in. But it wasn't fair to compare this guy with the British aeronauts back in the 19th century because right now in these days, we have very high-tech equipment that can help us fly high in the sky, especially something called a pressurized cabin where the passengers can go in and avoid the low temperature and thin air in the high altitude. And coming up this year, a Russian adventurer who is also the record holder of the fastest round the world travel in a hot air balloon is attempting to break the previous world record by reaching a height of 82,000 feet. And he's gonna be traveling in the world's largest balloon ever built. And this hot air balloon is gonna be larger than a space shuttle. But world records are meant to be broken one after another. So here comes our final question. Where is that natural limit? I mean, where is that physical limitation imposed by nature itself? Well, can our hot air balloon keep rising into the air all the way up into outer space? I mean, it seems possible, but unfortunately, no. That is because when a hot air balloon rises up into the sky, the atmosphere is becoming thinner and thinner. The air is also becoming lighter and lighter. And there will come a point finally that the air density both inside the hot air balloon and outside becomes the same. And that is where the hot air balloon will stop rising. And according to NASA, this limit is around 100,000 feet given that you're using a helium balloon, but if you decide to use a hydrogen balloon, which is even lighter, well, you may reach higher as long as, you know, you do not blow yourself up. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about science while watching movies. And I look forward to seeing you all in more videos in the coming year.